Are you taking for church? And no. after it's I over, we'd like you campus. all to join us for a luncheon in the church hall. So sit back and enjoy. We'll be starting in a second.
Joseph tried to get a room, but there weren't any. The inn was full. But a strange thing happened. That innkeeper didn't turn his back from the couple, on the couple from Galilee. God filled the innkeeper's heart with compassion. My inn is totally full, but this woman looks ready to give birth at any moment. And her husband is so <coughs> concerned about her. I need to do something to help. Papa, they need shelter, a roof over their heads, and a place to sleep, protected from the chill night air. We can't turn people out to give them a room. The stable. Why didn't we think of it sooner? I'll try to catch him. Joseph! Joseph, Joseph, Joseph from, from Galilee! Galilee. Joseph, Joseph! So this king wasn't born in a palace. He was born in a stable, surrounded by a of sheep and cows and chickens. That's right, and Joseph named the baby Jesus, which means God saves, because an angel Joseph told Joseph to give the baby that name. Wow, so that's how the king was born? Since this baby was the king, wasn't there some big announcement? Was, were the trumpets blowing, or was, were there a calling post or an email? Well, they didn't have phones in those days, or internet. God announced his birth with his star. A star? The star is so bright, no one knew what to make of it. People all over the world saw it. Some recognized it as a message from God, but others had no idea what it meant.
stable, sleeping in a manger, and wearing rags. Anybody who found him might have considered him a pauper. I think God made sure that didn't happen. That's why he sent the angels in the star. I think he wanted people to know that this prince was real, but different. The Bible predicted this night for thousands of years. Some people were wise to it.
19 centuries have come and gone, and today the risen Lord Jesus Christ is the central figure of the human race. On all our calendars, his birth divides in two eras. One day of every week is set aside in remembrance of him, and our two most important holidays celebrate his birth and his resurrection. Churches around the world display his cross because it has become the victory over sin and death. This one man's life has furnished a theme for more songs, books, and poems and paintings than any other person or event in history. Thousands of colleges, hospitals, orphanages, and other institutions have been founded in honor of this one who gave his life for us. All the armies that ever marched, all the navies that ever sailed, all the governments that ever sat, all the kings that have ever reigned have not affected the course of history as much as this one solitary life. Join us in the singing of O Come All You Faithful. 